Hey guys, so today I'm working on a 20 by 20 inch canvas and the colors I'll be using are Artist Loft White and that's the uh, Flow White and it's two parts Flow Troll to one part paint with a couple of scoops of satin enamel in it. I'm using the DecoArt 24K Gold. I'm using also Quinectone Nickel Azo Gold and I've mixed in some of Modern Masters Burnt Orange for a metallic finish. This is um, Extreme Sheen uh, by DecoArt, it's Rose Quartz. My two metallics here, the gold and uh, the rose quartz are both mixed equal parts Floetrol to paint. Uh, this is uh, Golden's Payne's Gray. And I use the heavy body, so I took a couple scoops um, with the tongue depressor and then added about uh, seven ounces of Floetrol. This is Arteza's Bordeaux Red. It is one of my favorite colors and the truest of reds that I've been able to find that actually holds the color. Um, this is mixed about seven parts Floetrol to one part paint. This is Golden's Prussian Blue. A couple of scoops of it with the tongue depressor out of the heavy body jar, and then about seven ounces of the Floetrol. And this is their Violet Deep, Golden's Violet Deep. Um, this is about, mixed the same, a couple of the scoops with the tongue depressor out of the heavy body paint. And I added it to what I already had mixed up. So this is in addition to, so there's about an additional seven to eight ounces of Floetrol to it. So today we're gonna be doing a, um, hopefully galaxy style straight pour. That's what I'm going for. That's what I like to do. I do have a little bit of a shadow on here. So um, hopefully I'll be able to not really see that in the video. So we are gonna start by layering our white cup. actually might be a little too much white. I'm gonna come in. You guys might be able to hear there's some road work going on. You may not be able to hear it on the video, so that might be good. I don't think it was as hot, bad as I thought it was the last time. I'm gonna come in with the burnt orange and nickel azo gold mix. Okay, that's a bubble. I'm just gonna drizzle that. Thank you. 
love what's going on right here. Just getting the flex center on the canvas so that it helps the paint flow. Just gonna pour that off anyway so I'm do one more torch before I stretch it out there are lots of air bubbles because I just mixed up all my paints
think I'm done with this piece. I don't want to tilt it anymore. I absolutely love it. <laughs> I don't want to say I love it, but I do love it. So I, I suppose that's just where it's gonna end. Um, it's gorgeous. Let's bring you guys in in just a second for a close-up. Okay guys, so here it is. I'm loving the colors and I love all of this in here. It is so vibrant and I can't wait for it to dry because I know it's gonna dry dark because of the um, uh, deep violet, but at the same time, it's going to be bright. So it's got this beautiful contrast to it. Um, let me go from there. All right, so thank you so much for joining me on this little journey. I hope you guys enjoyed the process. If you have any questions, reach out to me, ask them below, um, and please consider subscribing. I'm trying to get to 100,000. We'll see how long that takes. I'd like to just hit 75,000 to start. Thank you so much, guys. All my art is for sale. You can contact me through my media links below. Bye.